Hey guys, this is Sir Patel, CEO of London Spirits Competition. We're live from London here for the seventh annual London Spirits Competition judging. I had this amazing conversation about English whiskey. The category is growing, especially internationally. You know, England uh, having such a nostalgia brand. Uh, I think there is a big opportunity for English whiskies to export and also to grow that in UK. UK being such an educated uh, trade buyer and the consumers, I'm sure there is an opportunity. So listen to this episode where we chat about, you know, how uh, overall we can grow English whiskey. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Sid Patel, CEO of London Spirits Competition. We are live in the seventh year of the London Spirits Competition. I have here Luca Rapedi. Seven years of judging, Luca. Seven years, yes, absolutely. Uh, thank That's... you so much for being part of the journey. Thank you. You've, you've seen it and you know I promise you your <laughs> your time will be well invested when you will be part of the uh, thank you very huge much. competition in the following years. So I think uh, let's touch base on uh, English whiskey, I think, you know? Yep. That's that's something which is very interesting. And as we were just chatting, uh, the category is becoming popular, as you were saying, more and more like spaces are being created in the menus, but go deeper into defining English whiskey. What other, what kind of, you know, taste profiles are we talking about? So if you go technical, how, do, how would you have a summary on English whiskey? So um, I think at the moment, English whiskey, we can say that uh, if you look at the map of England, it's nice to see that we have distilleries all across the country. So North, South, East and West. Um, and I think now English whiskey wants to look at making whiskey in a more modern approach and a different mm -hmm. way. Of course, looking at Scotland, because I mean, we can't deny it, like the heritage and like the background and of course uh, of Scotch whiskey, but uh, the English whiskey distillery at the moment, they all have a different approach. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of like also different, uh, difficult to say uh, what's the style of English whiskey because every distillery has a different approach. Understood. So obviously, Sherry led whiskies are the main focus because this is what also like the market, uh, the main market, okay? Because looking at the big brands of Scotch whiskey, they develop throughout the years more like sherry led like uh, um, whiskey, and then this is like the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. But because at the moment there are not so many like uh, strict regulations and like guidelines, so you okay. have a bit of freedom. To define, uh, yeah, okay. um, you have a bit more freedom so you can play around with the different type of casks so from different wood, so ne not necessarily oak. And is that why, because the Brexit still hasn't come, the rules haven't still come into this, or uh, it's just playing with the old, and be because obviously before it was Brexit, it was fine. No, of course. Uh, I think oh. it's just because probably uh, it's just like the, the category at the moment. Okay. So okay. there is... Um, Very small and new too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there is a, a consortium that is the English Whiskey Guild. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's been founded by a few distilleries, okay, in England. And the aim of this consortium is to have one day, first of all, the, um, the GI, okay, uh, for the whiskey, I mean, as English whiskey. And also, uh, as a consequence, probably a more defined like uh, production um, you know guidelines as well yeah, yeah. so uh, at the moment you know you are free to use if you want like barley imported from Europe or just local Understood. barley but as I said you have freedom on uh, the aging process so you can use whatever pretty much you and want. And approximately how many distilleries are there in England? Yeah, um, so at the moment uh, there are officially 49 distillery in England mm -hmm. um, registered as a whiskey distilleries, okay? If you think that uh, no long ago, I mean a matter of few years, there were less than 30, and now in few years we are almost 50, mm -hmm. I think it's quite uh, definitely a good uh, like result and it shows that there is a lot of investment mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. attention into uh, English whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's a category uh, that is coming up more and more. Um, and you see like from the brand uh, that are in most of the cocktail menu mm -hmm. or just in the spirit selection. And, and are you seeing like, uh, the? Uh, I'm assuming that the UK consumers would prefer that or are you seeing loyalty or it's it's not helping in sales yet? No, it does. It does help because, you know, um, when we talk about sustainability and also the support for the local business and local markets, when you are, for example, in London or Birmingham or Leeds and you are pre presenting something that mm -hmm. is like made like in England, mm -hmm. maybe using English barley or using like, you know, something that's within UK, mm -hmm. it's nice from the consumer point of view because they say, oh, somehow I'm helping also the local market. 
Understood. And uh, you know, the small, like maybe a little small business. Okay, so I think that leads me to a little bit of sales uh, tips, right? <clears throat> uh, for the distillers of UK, I mean, uh, England, I believe, yeah. you know. Uh, so what kind of things you are using, you know, personally to sell your product and how are you uh, conveying this message? Uh, what are the things that you are pitching about, let's say about English whiskey? So other people can learn from them yeah. and sort of other English distillers can use those sales yeah. skills. I think first of all is the, uh, I mean, have a, like a good um, sales like plan and strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to understand if you want to target first of all the on trade uh, or more like the off trade. So uh, consumers uh, and I think it's really important. Two things are really important. First of all, the product. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's important you have a product uh, of a good quality and also Packaging. I think packaging, there are some brands that focus a lot on the quality of the product, but they don't really spend much time into the packaging. But if you think about when you go to a supermarket, the first things you see mm -hmm. uh, is the packaging. Absolutely. So the packaging somehow needs to also reflect or be aligned with the quality and also the concept of the product. Mm -hmm. I mean, my advice for some producer is like, please, always invest in packaging because sometimes you see product that tastes amazing but then we will look at the bottle you are mm -hmm. a bit disappointed um, and then uh, storytelling if you got a nice story mm -hmm. uh, behind the, you know the brand uh, or just the product uh, and also like some key fact that you can pass to the consumer so for example the local product that you use like if it's a gin like a local botanicals or if you use like a barley for the whisk where it comes from if it's local mm -hmm. if it's a like a specific like varietal um, of the barley and then of course once you have all this information you need to just pitch you know your approach uh, to the different like um, uh, mm -hmm. you know like markets. So I mean you've been bartender as well yeah. most of your life right so yes. I think that the skills of being a bartender and selling as a bartender for sure helps so I want to ask you you know other bartenders would definitely know about English whiskey or you still have to educate them most of the time that okay this is how it's going to taste we still uh, we still have to educate because um, you know even when before joining like the brand I work with now um, I didn't know very much about English whiskey mm -hmm. uh, I knew just a few brands but I wasn't really aware uh, of English whiskey becoming a category so there is still a lot to do mm -hmm. uh, and I think the most important is to let people understand that um, English whiskey is a category upcoming in the market, but it's not necessarily wants to do something like copying what Scotland yeah, yeah, has yeah. done, or maybe Ireland. So on this English uh, Whiskey Guild, uh, or Distillers Guild, uh, English Whiskey Guild. And is there where they can learn about English whiskey? Yeah, and I mean, you can, uh, I mean, not necessarily from the website, okay. but it's definitely uh, the website is like this consortium when you can see all the distillery that they are part of this consortium. Mm -hmm. And all the distillery are meeting quite regularly with their representative, just working, you know, to define, like, as I said, like guidelines, also working on a project that they can, you know, bring more awareness mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the English whiskey, okay, and the production, and yeah, so becoming more like identified. Have the category. you seen, in fact, international, uh, you are seeing a little more demand and yeah. it's, it's, it's good to capitalize there. Uh, I think we were talking about USA as well. So yeah. what kind of two or three countries y you can suggest that English distillers can sort of aim at as well? Yeah, so um, we know that in terms of whiskey, Asia is, uh, is definitely a very good market mm -hmm. because there is a lot of like attention um, on whiskey in Asia, uh, especially in uh, those countries that they are like uh, East, Mm -hmm. Asia and maybe some Southeast because the, if you look at the consumption of whiskey uh, and also whiskey investment there is quite a lot. Then if you look at other markets for example US I mean uh, that is probably one of the most challenging first of all because each state uh, mm -hmm. has a, his own regulation so my advice is that if you want to approach US just be ready because it's not easy mm -hmm. um, and maybe it would be better to focus on key cities rather than just the states. Agreed. And then, you know, um, obviously in Europe, uh, again, you need to look at the different like countries and see, because for example, country where um, whiskey is something that is still needs to come up and maybe they are, we say, few years behind compared mm -hmm. to UK, mm -hmm. um, is probably some 
is like a country when you can probably invest a little bit more and perhaps you will see the result in a few years, okay? Mm -hmm. And then in terms of like luxury uh, and premium, especially for the positioning of a brand, well, Middle East, uh, Middle East, because we know True. that, yeah, I mean, yeah. like Dubai, mm. Abu Dhabi. And I think, I think there, is, there are some close ties for sure with England, London as a brand, you know, so uh, it's in, I think it should be a, it's, you've got some, a brand which is so old, some nostalgia has to come out, right, to, yep. to help in sales. Yeah. Uh, cool. Any closing remarks for the distillers or overall, you know, for uh, on how how we all can collectively promote English whiskey? I would say that just that don't be afraid of trying and exploring more the uh, the category of English whiskey because it's definitely something interesting. And also, I would say uh, you might find something more like suitable for your palate or for your customer palate. But at the same time, if you are in UK, it's good to support like a local market as well. So like these small distilleries, they're putting a lot of effort in their products.